What's up guys? This is a design that I printed to test the rest of my EDFs. So I've been recently experimenting with 3D printed ducts and fans and their feasibility in terms of at-home manufacturing and I need as many ways to compare performance as I can. And in my previous videos I used a bus and timed the amount of time it took for different EDF configurations to hit a box at the end of a hallway. Um, so it was clear after that video that I needed more technical methods. So for this setup I'm using a very cheap kitchen scale and this lever. The idea of the lever is that the point of contact with the scale and then the point of applied force from the EDF are equidistant from the axis of rotation in this bearing right here. Um, and the rotational force that the EDF induces provides a very accurate reading uh, when the point of contact presses down on the scale. So here's a quick demo of how it works. So some issues with the design right off the bat, it's not as stable as I thought it would be. Um, specifically, the vibrations from the EDF kind of wobble the arm and stand a little, even though it probably has negligible effects on the actual readings. But in general, the whole system isn't as structurally stable as I hoped. Um, I couldn't really push the throttle. I got the throttle up to about 40%, which equated to around 50 grams of thrust um, during my testing. Uh, but my next iteration definitely needs to be more stable, which includes either putting more weight and surface area on the thrust bottom of the stands here to hold the base down or completely redesign the structure um, to hold the lever in place while testing. So my favorite part of the design is the use of these bearings here. The axles friction fit into these bearings and I took off the cap so you can see how it moves uh, with the bearing and not the axle itself. So these completely eliminate wheel and axle friction losses. And the only friction losses that I get is the surface contact between these intermediary washers that I printed and the arm and the stand. So I used just this regular PLA with 20% infill on all the parts. It was a simple build. It took about 14 hours, not including this new duct that I had to print um, to get the center of gravity right on the arm. And so while this needs a lot more work for sure, I think my thrust testing situation is definitely headed in the right direction. Um, this was just a video to showcase the use of the arm itself. Currently, I'm only testing this curved seven bladed fan um, design right here. But in the future, obviously, the main goal of this is to test different EDF configurations, different blades, different thrust tubes, different uh, intakes to, to kind of compare differences in, in my designs going forward. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.